You scored 193 goals in just over 500 games as a defender. That I wasn't really uh, a defender. Go on! Finish him! Finish him! And I was lucky. And you could hit it. Yeah. Looking on YouTube about <laughs> Ronald Koeman, what he did as a player. Is Koeman 10 tokens waard? Is Koeman 10 tokens waard? Netherlands is heel in and what's happening boys and welcome to Icon Swap's Players Way View episode number two. Yesterday I promised you guys we were going to do an episode today on someone very special. Yesterday we did Raul who basically lived up to expectations. But now we're diving into some territory. Again we're going to stick with uh, another player that cost 10 tokens but now we're diving into some territory where there's a few unknowns uh, with the card. Specifically uh, in terms of Ronald Koeman we're going to be looking at work rates as well as a couple specific specific stats but there's one thing that you can't say about Ronald Koeman you can't say that he is not a top three total in-game stat center back in all of FIFA for me that's an interesting stat for a center back because then it turns into a card that you could very uh, uh you could consider very strongly playing at a position that is not center back CDM you can play him on seven chem uh you could play him as a ram even with the shooting stats he has but we're about to dive into that if you guys are enjoying these little mini players wave you episode is during this down period it's weird to say down period at the end of December uh, don't have a lot of fresh content coming out. We have a Spanish La Liga um, storyline card that just came out, which I'm very interested to see what the objectives are. We'll be looking at that on stream later tonight, as well as finishing off our weekend league games. But today, boys, it is all about this. Ronald Koeman goes for about 500, and as a matter of fact, exactly 530,000 coins, the cheapest one on the PlayStation I was able to get with a Shadow Chem style. Still blows my mind of all, with all the incredible Dutch players that we've had in, in, uh, in history, they've still never won a World Cup. That's still... That literally blows my mind. They're like the Buffalo Bills of world football. But we're not here to talk about that football. We're here to talk about Coleman football. Three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. High medium work rate as a center back is an interesting choice for him. So I wonder if that alludes to the fact that he obviously played at different positions throughout his career. Um, obviously, I don't think he scored 14 goals for the Netherlands in 73 games from the center back position. You guys maybe let me know if you guys are diehard uh, Netherlands national team supporters. But uh, we're going to look at his card stats. So we start with the acceleration. We start with the pace. 75 acceleration, 78 sprint speed for a center back. That is really, really good. That's fine. That's not even below my threshold of what I would accept. I would say that's above average. Uh, shooting stats, however, turn into something really crazy. He's got 75 attacking positioning, 80 finishing, 97 shot power, 92 lock shots, and can take penalties, 95. Obviously, you saw in his bio uh, that it said he scored the opening goal in that uh, final versus Benfica. Um, 85 crossing, 95 free kick accuracy, 85 short pass, 95 long pass, 92 curve. So he's got that little, he can do that little swerve pass. And then we get to the dribbling stats and this is where it gets a little bit interesting, but not even that much though, because I feel like 70 agility for a player that you'd be using uh, for a position that you'd be using him in, he just is one of those tanks. 68 balance, that might be a little bit, we'll, we'll, we'll try to tap into that and see if that's a thing. Reactions 89, ball control 84, dribbling 77, composure 85. Uh, and then we get to the defending stats, which are just nuts as well. Turns into 99 interceptions, 94 defensive awareness, and then 95, uh, sorry, um, 94 defensive tackle, and then we're getting that slide tackle jacked all the way off. 86 jumping, the physical stats are kind of nuts as well. Not elite, but very, very good. Um, and that basically sums up the Ronald Coleman card. 2,300 total in-game stats. There's only, as a matter of fact, there's only one card in all of FIFA that has more total in-game stats than this one that's not named Lothar Mateos, and it's the 91 Ronald Coleman center back version, 2,500 total in-game stats. He's in good company in terms of total in-game stats, and again, it lends himself very likely, or uh, very nicely to play a different position. But today, we He's are slotting best. him in alongside, arguably, and I don't think it's an argument, one of the best center backs, arguably the best center back in FIFA, and that is none other than Virgil van Dijk, his Dutch country mate. We've got Seedorf, we've got Rabo, we've got Allison, of course, for the memes, and then up top, we've got a combination of Argentinians. Don't ask me why I went with them. I just saw them in my club, uh, and I thought they'd be very cool to go with. They all had sniper chem style, so it looks kind of sweet. We're going to try Coman out at center back. We're going to try him out at Ram. Hell, we're even going to try him out up top at Cam or right striker. So we're going to get into a couple matches here with Ronald Coleman, see if he is worth the 10 icon swaps uh, or if he's better served just being bought off the market and grinded to for 500, 530,000 coins. Match number one, Netherlands echt, echt wendevoel. So the main thing I'm going to watch out, you see Ronald Coleman there alongside Virgil van Dijk? I want to see what that high medium work rate is. I want to see... How aggressive he is, and it looks like he's yeah, it looks like he stays back. He missed a pass there, but it looks like um, 
it looks like he stays back. He's even backtracking more than uh, Virgil van Dyke. Alison Becker! <laughs> well, that's not how this was supposed to go. Um, that was a poor. That was a poor challenge on my part. That's why he's the best. Dude, VVD just is a wall. Here's the difference between VVD and a lot of other defenders in the game. You don't. You just sort of have to be in the proximity of the defender. And uh, he gets it done. He just like absorbs the ball. Lauturo! Lauturo Martinez. Come on, boys. Is that me? I don't I can't tell if that agility and then the balance is affecting the way that I'm using the Ronald Coleman. Like I feel like. I feel like he's really difficult to move around. There we go. That's Ronald Coleman right there. Okay, he started off a little bit slow and he's, he's kind of redeeming himself here. Damn, so match number one got off to a really, really bad start. Match number one got off to a horrible, horrible start. He, he redeemed himself a little bit, but I wouldn't I wouldn't imagine him getting a okay, 7.5 rating. Comparatively, one of the one of the worst ratings on the uh on the team. So let's see what he got. He has himself tackles one, two out of six. And you wanna know what? That's what his performance felt like there right there. Two out of six, man. Alright, we're gonna run the 442. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to play Coman at RCM, Blanc LCM, Ramos opposite Virgil van Dijk. <sighs> All right. Hey, Ronald Coman, man, stepping up. I think, you know what? I think I might have been trying too hard in the first half of the last match. Notice that his, he improved massively in the second half. And then now to kick things off here in the, uh, in the opening minutes of this second match, I feel like I'm finally getting the handle of it. <laughs> just do that no ronald mccoman did not just body fade past two defenders and then bin it top off the crossbar oh my God. look at the jelly on the map the double post the crossbar in the left post challenge ronald coleman that's what he's got And he draws a pen versus Anthony Martial. And we already know who's taking the pen because he's got 95. He's one of the best pen takers in all of FIFA, apparently. You know what we're going to do? Power that up. We're going to green. Didn't even green time it. We, we yellowed it. And we're up to two goals with Ronald Coleman. Yo, who knew, man? Look at the strength. Bro, Coleman, you gotta chill, dude. Ronald Coleman has a damn cannon attached to his leg. Damn. You wanna know what? I think it's just that I'm a bad defender. I literally wasn't able to stop that with Virgil van Dijk. He can't believe it. Go on! Finish him! Finish him! It's gotta be Lionel Messi. That's gonna be it. Goal! Only Lionel Messi. And maybe Robin, if we had him in the game still, would bang a goal in like that. And the ex Barca, well, they didn't play together, but the ex Barca teammates uh, hug each other, possibly for the last time before this guy rage quits in the 73rd minute. And I think that just might be it. I like it. 
I like it. I think there's only one place to move Ronald Coleman up to now. I think we need to play a third game with Ronald Coleman at striker. So Ronald Coleman gets himself a 9.3 and somehow none of our players get man of the match. Wait, who, who got man of the match? Oh, is there no man of the match when there's a rage quit? It was a cold dark night at Club Jaid. Club de Cuervos was ready for this slapping. One question remained. Could Coman play up top at striker opposite Lionel Messi? Every time he scores, I feel like calling him Kingsley Coleman. Ronald Coleman with the finish inside the box. He's got 90 finishing if the sniper chem style or the... We have either Deadeye or Marksman on. I'm not sure which one it is. But if that chem style is accurate, he's got 90 finishing. Coleman, bro. Three goals in two matches? <laughs> That's Ronald Coleman to Messi. Again, I feel like any player could have made that, but show off a little bit of the agility that you wouldn't exactly expect from uh, expect from a Ronald Coleman, the handsome lad himself. All right, so. We get a loss in match number one, using him as a center back, and then I think converting him to a uh, converting him to a CDM. We just that was our first match of the game, so I think I'm going to attribute it to that. No. Messi shouldn't miss two chances. Where's our midfield? Exactly. Where's the Arsenal midfield? Go on! Go on! Finish him! Finish him! Go! Dude, I can't even be mad at that. I can't even be I mean, I can be mad at Allison and I can embarrass him by playing the Allison song. I could do that. But I can't even be mad at Timo Werner. 86 Timo Werner coming in and absolutely destroying me. 20 out of 34 dribbles completed. Very, very nice ratio, I might add. Um, and then 20 out of 24 uh, passes completed. Let's attribute a little bit of that error to me because it was my first game of the. It was my first game of the day, uh, and I'm just not good uh, defending with center backs to start off with. And then he really he rapidly improved in the second half, so it was a market improvement. Uh, in terms of value, so I'm gonna have to think about this in the same way about Raul because it's 10. I'm gonna focus and zone in on the fact that they're only. Only 10 tokens so in terms of value I am gonna have to give it a three and a half out of five in terms of on the pitch performance as a center back I would have to give him a three out of five in terms of his performance on the pitch as a midfielder which is where I think you need to play this Ronald Coleman card I will be giving him a four out of five I feel like the shooting and passing stats go to waste if you play him at center back so RCM LCM maybe even if you have him uh, on stay back while attacking as like a dominant um, as a dominant force or just a straight up CDM in a formation like the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. He didn't feel incredible as a center back. He felt a little bit leaky. He doesn't have that Van Dyke um, uh, absorption feel where like if you get if you get near a defender like he absorbs him you have to try a little bit harder with a Coleman in order to really get the most out of him and hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you guys did drop a mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below again hopefully you guys are enjoying these players wave views on the icon swaps Alessandro Del Piero sorry Nakata is up in line next and then Alessandro Del Piero will be following shortly after that per usual boys I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time bros choose Later, a day.